What's up guys? Welcome back to Fish Hex. This is Travis here. Today we're going to be doing a subscriber request. Several of you have asked me what do I feed the fish and what do I feed the coral in my reef tank. So in this video we're just going to specifically talk about the fish and then in the next video we'll talk about coral. Now as you can see here I have uh, several different products that I like to feed my fish on a weekly basis. So let's go ahead and go through each one of them individually. Alright now starting from the left here we have the dried nori. Now I've had this pack for about 10 months now and uh, you know it's getting somewhat empty. Now that I have more tangs I'm definitely using a lot more nori than I usually did. I, you know, I only had two tanks before and now I have like nine. So uh, I'm using it up pretty quickly. I do like to put this in uh, the main display every day, put a sheet in or a half a sheet, uh, depending on uh, what the fish usually eat. They tend to do a half a sheet, it's pretty good for those tanks. And then um, I go ahead and I put a little bit in each one of my quarantine sections because I have uh, tangs in there right now. And then I also put uh, a sheet of it in the frag system because I have obviously four tangs in that system. Now, uh, this is just a daily thing. It doesn't really add a lot of nutrients to the system and it kind of keeps the fish healthy because I don't have any algae or anything like that they can chew on. So this kind of keeps them occupied, put it on the veggie clip and they're happy. All right, the next food we're gonna talk about is the eels food. Now I will put a link to the description below um, on how I made this food, but this is basically scallops, shrimp, squid, and octopus chopped up, put into freezer bags. This is the last bag that I had. I'm trying to figure out when I made that video, but um, it was a while ago and it's lasted me a long time basically. Twice a week, three times a week, I'll cut off a chunk, put it in the water, let it thaw out, drain the water out, and then feed him with the uh, chopstick um, or skewer, better yet. Uh, and uh, he's pretty happy with this. He's doing well with it. And uh, it just provides a little bit more nutrition than the silver sides. I mean, I still feed him silver sides, but it's far and few between. I don't really do it too often because uh, I don't really want to associate all his food with fish or at least looking like fish just because I have uh, a lot of fish in the tank that are smaller than the silver sides that I even feed him. And luckily, um, you know, crossing my fingers here, he hasn't eaten any of those fish so far. Um, so I just kind of like try to keep him happy. Uh, he has definitely grown a lot since I started feeding him that food. Uh, literally, it's like when he comes out finally every couple days, he comes out fully and swims around. Uh, you can really see the growth uh, on a weekly basis. So I'll be interested to see how big he is in a year when we, uh, before we upgrade the system. And hopefully he will make it that long and before destroying this tank, fortunately. Uh, and I will post that video as well of him almost destroying this tank uh, that I posted a couple weeks ago. All right, the next food I like to use on pretty much every quarantine system when I first set it up is the frozen mysis shrimp. Now, I've been using this for years, 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 years. I've actually been using this longer than anything else here or anything else uh, that I can think of. Um, basically, guys, I just go ahead and thaw it out in RLDI water, strain it with a net, and put it in whatever tank. Now, if you've seen any of my quarantine videos, you know that this is the stuff that I use first. Um, it just... I've never had a fish really turn it down unless they're really, really sick. Everybody loves to eat it. Never had any issues with it. And, uh, you know, adding the garlic extract is always something you could do. But this is my go-to food if I have a fish that's kind of stubborn, doesn't want to eat, or is having issues in quarantine. This stuff always seems to work for them. All right, let's move into the LRS foods, which are the primary source of food for my reef tank. Uh, the herbivore frenzy is something that I've been using for a very long time. Not only do the tangs love it, but uh, pretty much every fish loves it. I've even had the eel go ahead and take a chunk and bring it into his cave and eat it. Uh, the shrimp love it. Everybody loves this food. Um, be aware, guys, it's very nutritionally dense. Uh, you really want to focus on um, just feeding enough for your fish to eat in a couple minutes, and then um, it wouldn't hurt to take out the rest if they're not eating it because uh, you will find, and which I've done before, is if you feed this too often or too much of it, you will pollute your tank. Um, just like with just like with any uh, frozen food, you really got to keep an eye on it. Um, so I usually just start off with a small chunk. Um, as you can see, it, it thaws really quickly. I usually don't thaw it out. It's been on the table for about what, three or four minutes, pretty much the whole time I make this video, and it's already uh, getting soft, which is fine. I'll just throw it in the freezer afterward. But I just break off a chunk, put it in the water, and it thaws, and they just kind of eat it as they go. Sometimes I go ahead and I take the chunk and I put it uh, on the power head and I just let the power head kind of suck it in and blow it across the tank um, for everybody to kind of chase it around. But this is a primary source of food and I don't purchase it online. I know that you can. What I like to do is I purchase it from a guy who's a local vendor here in central Pennsylvania and I will put uh, his information below. Uh, it is Brian from Those Fish Geeks and I've you know, got my frag tank from him and I got several tanks from him. And um, that's where I purchased from just because I don't really want to pay for the shipping because I believe it has to be shipped with dry ice just for the type of food it is. So I usually avoid that. I know that you can buy it online and do all that shipping, but a uh, local vendor has always been the way that I've gone with this food and I'm going to continue to go that route. Now the next food here is the fertility frenzy. Now I was told that this is what they use to help breed the blue tang in uh, captivity. 
or at least was helped be part of it. I know there are other foods associated with it and I don't really know which ones those are, but uh, that's what I was told. And uh, the reason why I got this guys is there's a new project coming up that I'm gonna show you. I'm actually adding a 25 gallon rimless tank to the reef tank. And um, that's gonna be specifically for my clown, the mated pair that I already have, the black and white oscillaris. I'm going to isolate them in that tank with a couple of bubble tip anemones and then have a cave there for them. And I'm gonna see if I can get them to breed. I know that they already have, and um, the chances of them being successful in the reef tank breeding are pretty slim, especially with the shrimp running around and other fish. Um, I'm sure that, uh, you know, if they did breed, uh, the, the uh, fry wouldn't make it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, isolate them, feed them with this, and then keep an eye on the fry and try to get them out as soon as they hatch and then continue to feed with this. So um, that's what I got this for. Um, when, you know, in the future, we'll go ahead and we'll do that whole project and I will talk about all that good stuff and we'll get into more detail on this. But uh, same source, same vendor, which I got this from. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing if this works. There's been some great reviews on it. And, um, you know, I can't say enough good things about it that I at least heard. And then I will, we'll, well, we'll see for ourselves once we start using it, right? All right, guys, that's pretty much it for what I feed my reef tank. One thing I do want to mention is when it comes to the herbivore frenzy, I feed that every three days. Now, if you guys have seen any of my previous videos, I'm very particular on how high my nitrates and my phosphates get in my reef tank. Uh, and I've just found that uh, every three days really helps me feed the fish the amount that they want to eat and still keep the reef tank clean. Now, I will substitute, uh, like I said, nori's every day. We have the eel that eats this, which, you know, the other fish get to pick up. And then I do mice and shrimp every once in a while as well. Um, but uh, like I said, guys, I really like to keep my nutrients low. So when it comes to uh, these kind of foods, uh, especially specifically uh, this stuff has a lot of a lot of nutrients in it, uh, especially the squid and the raw shrimp and stuff. All that stuff is all going to be fed in moderation, just because uh, nutrients levels still need to continue to be low, so I can uh, you know be successful in this uh, hobby the way I want to be at least. So let's go ahead and get over to the reef tank, and we'll feed some herbivore frenzy, and I'll show you guys um, how the fish like it. All right, here we go. 